go. In the classic film Terminator 2 Judgment Day, we saw a glimpse of a dystopian future where machines have taken over and humanity is on the brink of extinction. While this may seem like the stuff of science fiction, the recent Sunni Pali cyber attack highlights the very real and present danger of malicious actors using technology to cause chaos and destruction. In this Tack Raven Academy YouTube video, we will take a deep dive into the Sunni Pali cyber attack and explore how it fits into the larger narrative of the intersections between technology and humanity. We will examine the motivations behind the attack, the tactics used by the hackers, and the impact it had on the institution and the wider community. We will also discuss the lessons that can be learned from this incident and how we can work to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future. So grab your popcorn and get ready to experience a real-life technological thriller in this Tack Raven Academy production. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. Nanotechnology is a field of science and engineering that deals with the manipulation and control of matter at the nanoscale, which is the scale of atoms and molecules. At this scale, materials can have unique properties and behaviors that are different from their microscopic counterparts. In nanotechnology, scientists and engineers work with materials and devices that are typically between 1 and 100 nanometers in size. To put this into perspective, a nanometer is one billionth of a meter, or about 100,000 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. The ability to manipulate materials at the nanoscale has opened up many new possibilities for developing novel materials and devices with unique properties and functions. For example, nanotechnology has been used to create materials that are stronger, lighter, and more durable than conventional materials, as well as materials that can conduct electricity or react to stimuli in new ways. Nanotechnology has applications in many different fields, including electronics, medicine, energy, and environmental science. For example, in the field of electronics, nanotechnology has enabled the development of smaller and more efficient devices such as computer chips and sensors, and in medicine, nanotechnology is being used to develop new diagnostic tools and treatments for diseases such as cancer. There are several different approaches to working with nanoscale materials. One approach is top-down, where larger materials are broken down into smaller structures. This approach is commonly used in the semiconductor industry to create computer chips. Another approach is bottom-up, where individual atoms and molecules are assembled into a larger structure. This approach is used in fields such as nanomedicine and nanomaterials. Despite its many potential benefits, there are also concerns about the safety and ethical implications of nanotechnology. Because nanomaterials can have unique properties, there are concerns about how they may interact with the environment and with living organisms. There are also concerns about the potential for nanotechnology to be used for malicious purposes, such as developing new types of weapons or surveillance technologies. As with any emerging technology, it is important for scientists, policymakers, and the public to work together to ensure that the benefits of nanotechnology are balanced with its potential risks and that it is developed in a reasonable and responsible and ethical manner. The Albany SUNY Polytechnic Institute, also known as SUNY Poly, is a world-renowned institution based in the state capital of New York. The campus specializes in nanotechnology, science, engineering, and entrepreneurship, making it a hub for cutting-edge research and innovation. SUNY Poly has a unique collaborative model that brings together academic researchers, private companies, and government agencies to develop innovative technologies and train future leaders in this field. The SUNY Polytechnic Institute was formed in 2014 through a merger between the SUNY College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering and the SUNY Institute of Technology. The merger created a new institution with a broader focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education and research. The campus is home to over 2,000 undergraduate and graduate students, as well as more than 300 faculty members. 
The Albany SUNY Poly campus is renowned for its state-of-the-art facilities, which include advanced clean rooms, laboratories, and manufacturing facilities. These resources allow students and faculty to work on a variety of groundbreaking research projects, such as developing new materials and devices for electronics, energy, and biomedical applications. The campus is also home to a number of research centers, including the Center for Semiconductor Research, the Photovoltaic Manufacturing and Technological Center, and the Center for Advanced Technology in Nanomaterials and Nanoelectronics. One of the most notable features of the Albany SUNY Poly campus is the Nanotechnology Innovation and Commercialization Accelerator, also known as the NICE building, which serves as a hub for nanotechnology research and development. The building houses a variety of research facilities including clean rooms, microscopy labs, and material synthesis labs. The NICE building also includes the Albany Nanotech Complex, which is a state-of-the-art research facility that houses some of the most advanced clean rooms in the world. The complex is used for research in various fields, including nanoelectronics, nanomaterials, and nanobioscience. Another notable facility on the Albany SUNY Poly campus is the Zero Energy Nanotechnology Building, which is a state-of-the-art laboratory designed to operate without the use of fossil fuels. The building includes a variety of sustainable features such as solar panels, geothermal heating and cooling, and a green roof. The Zen building is a model for sustainable design and demonstrates the Institute's commitment to environmental stewardship. The Albany SUNY Poly campus also features a variety of educational programs including undergraduate and graduate degrees in nanotechnology, engineering, and business. These programs provide students with hands-on experience in research and development and prepare them for careers in high-tech industries. The campus also offers a variety of professional development programs and training opportunities for industry professionals. In addition to its academic and research programs, the Albany SUNY Poly campus is also a hub for entrepreneurship and innovation. The campus includes a technology incubator, which provides support and resources for startups and entrepreneurs. The incubator offers a variety of services, including mentorship, networking opportunities, and access to funding. The Albany SUNY Poly campus has received numerous awards and recognitions for its research and innovation. In 2020, the campus was ranked among the top 25 public universities for research and development expenditures by the National Science Foundation. The campus has also received recognition for its work in sustainability, including being named a Green College by the Princeton Review. Overall, the SUNY Poly campus is a leading institution in the field of nanotechnology and serves as a model for collaborative research and education. Its state-of-the-art facilities, innovative research, and commitment to sustainability make it a unique and exciting place for students. On April 23, 2021, the Albany SUNY Polytechnic Institute, also known as SUNY Poly, fell victim to a cyber attack that forced the institution to shut down its computer systems. The attack, which is believed to have been carried out by a ransomware group, affected SUNY Poly's nanotechnology research facilities, including its state-of-the-art clean rooms, as well as its business and administration systems. The incident was a stark reminder of the growing threat of cyber attacks on academic institutions and the need for heightened cybersecurity measures to protect valuable research and data. The SUNY Poly attack began in the early morning hours of April 23rd when the institution's computer systems were hit with a ransomware attack. Ransomware is a type of malicious software that encrypts a victim's data and demands payment in exchange for the decryption key. In this case, the attackers demanded a ransom payment in exchange for a decryptor key needed to unlock SUNY Poly systems. The attackers also threatened to leak sensitive data if the ransom was not paid. In response to the attack, SUNY Poly immediately shut down its computer systems and began working with law enforcement and cybersecurity experts to investigate the incident and determine the extent of the damage. The institution also alerted its staff and students to the attack and advised them to take precautions to protect their personal information. The attack on SUNY Poly was particularly concerning given the institution's focus on nanotechnology research. The campus is home to some of the most advanced clean rooms in the world, which are used for research in a variety of fields, including nanoelectronics, nanomaterials, and nanobioscience. The clean rooms are designed to maintain a highly controlled environment with low levels of dust, 
particles, and other contaminants, making them critical for research that requires a high degree of precision and accuracy. The Sunni Poly attack also had broader implications for the field of nanotechnology research. Nanotechnology is a rapidly growing field that has the potential to transform a wide range of industries from electronics to healthcare. However, the development of new nanomaterials and devices requires significant investment in research and development, as well as access to state-of-the-art facilities and equipment. The attack on SUNY Poly's clean rooms could have serious implications for the development of nanotechnology products and the growth of the industry more broadly. In conclusion, the SUNY Poly cyber attack was a wake-up call for the field of nanotechnology and the broader community of researchers and practitioners who work with this technology. As we have seen, nanotechnology has enormous potentials to transform many fields, but it also poses challenges and risks. The SUNY Poly cyber attack highlighted the importance of investing in cybersecurity measures and developing protocols to prevent and respond to cyber attacks. It also underscores the need for collaboration and cooperation between researchers and policymakers, and additionally, industry leaders, to address the ethical and safety concerns associated with nanotechnology. As we move forward in the development and application of nanotechnology, we must remain vigilant and committed to responsibly innovating the benefits of this technology for society as a whole. By working together and taking proactive approaches to cybersecurity and ethical considerations, we can ensure that nanotechnology remains a force for good in the world. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and feedback on this episode. We love hearing from our viewers and value your input in shaping the content we produce. Please consider sharing this video with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in learning more about nanotechnology and cybersecurity. Together, we can help raise awareness about the important issues facing our world and work together towards a brighter future for all. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Tack Raven Academy. She intends to change the future. So in the words of the Terminator himself, the future is not set. There is no fate, but what we make for ourselves. Let us continue to make wise choices and take necessary steps to ensure that the future of nanotechnology is bright and secure. Thank you for joining us in this Tack Raven Academy production, and we hope to see you again in future episodes.